Did I keep on? Because I'm old. And I think I'm... I'm going to tell you a little story if you want. So, <clears throat> you know, when you are a working musician, one of the things that is lucky about that job is that uh, you sort of get to have like a second family. Right? You get kind of, you find your people, and you find your little tribe, and you get to travel. If you're lucky, you get to travel all over the place with them. And they sort of see you through thick and thin. And Ottawa, through the years, has played a tremendously important part in my own development and as a musician and my development as a musician. Woo! It's really, really circles that we carry around the world with us. And I'm going to tell you a quick little story. I'll try to make it quick. But several years ago, when I was about 18, I got invited to sing on Parliament Hill, one Canada Day. And uh, I was going to be singing backup for Canada's own Jeff Healy. <laughs> and so he's going to be and, uh, and he was going to be performing with Randy Bachman of the Guess Who. And he was going to be doing a Guess Who song. And they asked me to come. And not really sing, sing, but just sort of sing backup. And I already had a show that day. I had only been working as a musician for maybe a year. And I already had a show in my hometown of Toronto that day. A little sort of city fair that was going to be celebrating Canada Day. So this was a really big deal for me to have two gigs on the same day. They were going to fly me from Toronto to Ottawa for that afternoon's show. So a couple of nights before the show, Jeff called me at home and he said, "Listen, I want this is a really long song that we're going to be singing. It's guess your song. I think you should take a verse. I think you should sing the second verse. I'll sing the first verse. You sing the second verse, and Randy's going to sing and play guitar." I said, okay. And they set the song over on a cassette. <laughs> those, of, those of you under 40 can have your, uh, have your grandparents explain what that is to me. But, uh, so they set the song over, and I, but I was busy learning songs from my own show, so I shoved this cassette into my backpack, and I thought, oh, I can learn this on the plane, that's fine. And, and I went about learning my show. So the day comes, Canada Day comes, and I do my show at this little fair. That's important. It was a fair. And uh, so I do my show at this little outdoor fair, and it goes great. Everything's great. And after the show, I'm starving, which is lucky because I'm at a fair. And there's all kinds of food at a fair. So I ate everything. I had hot dogs, I had ribs, I had everything you could possibly want. I had, I had, I had cotton candy. And it wasn't until about halfway through the flight to Ottawa that I realized I had made a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody knew halfway through the flight that I had made a terrible mistake because I threw up all over the most patient flight attendant that Air Canada has ever created. <laughs> and I still had a show to do. So, and now I have terrible, terrible food poisoning. And I get to Ottawa, but I really want to do this show. Because the other part of this deal is we're going to get to meet the Queen. Queen Elizabeth is attending this particular year's festivities, and we're all going to get to meet the Queen. And my mother is very, very excited about this. <laughs> I cannot let her down. But I am so sick that I can barely move. So uh, I rally a little bit, and I get to the gig, and I've got my little outfit on, and I'm changing in the train. Producer comes in and I'm going to be on national television. So the producer comes in and he says, uh, "We got about 20 minutes." And it's, th it's at this point I realize I have not learned the song <laughs> because I was going to learn it on the plane, but I was doing other things on the plane. So I've got about 20 minutes to learn the verse of this song. There's no way that's going to happen. So I quickly pull the cassette out and I. I I listened through, and I wrote the lyrics on my hand. <laughs> National television. Mm. Wrote the lyrics on my hand, and I marched myself out there on Parliament Hill. Ottawa, when I tell you, when they got to me, I sang this song harder than I have ever sung anything <laughs> in my life. Because I thought, well, maybe if I really lean into it, no one will notice that I'm dying. <laughs> I'm sure some industrious television producer will dig up the tape somewhere. But I'm great. <clears throat> and I really needed to 
this song, and I made it through. And uh, I did not get to meet the Queen, because at the conclusion of my performance, I, I staggered off stage into the arms of a waiting Ottawa EMT, who took me back to my dressing room and filled me with fluids, and uh, took me back to the hotel. And I was most humiliated and really, really disappointed, and I cried in my hotel room about myself that night. But several hours later, my phone rang in my room. And there were other musicians on the show as well. Um, and the phone rang, and I answered the phone, and it was Jeff again. And he said, come downstairs. And I said, I can't. And he said, yes, you can. Put some pants on and come downstairs. <laughs> and so I did. And I walked into the hotel bar, and all of the musicians who had played on this show earlier that afternoon were in the bar, and they started to applaud. <laughs> Jeff put his arm around me and he said, Welcome to Showbiz, kid. At least you can bar from the queen. It is appropriately titled, Too Long at the Fair. <laughs> it's, a, it's an old Bonnie Raitt song um, that I learned when some other great older musician gave me a record. So I'm going to try to get to this. If I screw it up, just pretend you don't know this, okay? <laughs> well, Jesus Christ, you went to die, and I guess you went up to him. I've been downtown such a long time now. I'll never make it home by seven. Won't you come and take me home? I've been too long at the fair. And Lord, I just can't stand it anymore. Well, I went down to Jesus. I walked to my feet, got sore. But I never. Lord, I just can't stand 